Have you tried looking at all of the different Joby tripod alternatives, but still asking the same question, is it any good? I think I've got the tripod for you. Hey guys, Harrison here. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about a tripod that I've really enjoyed using over the past few years that I've had it, and something that is still going strong to this day. And that is, of course, the Photo Pro flexible tripod. If you were like me, you looked at all the, the, the go-to tripods are these Joby tripod, right? Everyone uses a Joby tripod, why wouldn't you? They've got those ball joint sockets and things like that. Great flexible tripod, different sizes, different payloads. The list goes on on the different options that you can get with a Joby tripod. Now, I've had experience using different Joby tripods before. One thing that I find happens a lot is the ball and socket joints, some of them crack, and then what happens is, is all of the, the leg becomes useless then because it's cracked in one area and the legs just go limp. So I was looking for something that was potentially used some slightly different technology, but was also still a flexible tripod. Uh, and then I came across the Photo Pro. This says UFO2 on it. Just search Photo Pro and you can find it. There'll be a link in the description for it as well. This Photo Pro uses, I believe it's got aluminium inside it and it's just got rubber outings. So it's, it's bendy, it's flexible. Now I'm sure if you continually bent it back and forwards, back and forwards, eventually it would just wear out. But this thing has been fantastic. Now I don't use it every day, I just use it for various different occasions. You know, I need to hang a hang a light or a camera up. So I've got a I've got an M50 here in a little bit of a cage. It's um it's been pretty good for that. It's got a ball joint on the head as well. You can tighten and loosen that up. Oh, he says as he undoes it. There we go. And you know. You know how a tripod works, so I'm not teaching you how to suck eggs here. One of the fears that I had was, well, what's the weight capacity on it? This is an M50 with a com light adapter and a 24mm lens, and it's in a cage as well, you know, and it and it all it will stand up, it will support it. I've also got an EOS R, it can hold that as well, although you do just need to put the feet in a bit more of a uh, more of a strengthened position with the legs. But the great thing about it is, it is super flexible, but to the point as well, because it's like, it's quite narrow. That, look at that, that's, that's what, the legs are about as thin as my fingers are, if you can see that. So what you can do is you can get a really kind of tight angle and hook it on the end of things. You know, this thing is super flexible in many different ways. So this has been really helpful for me for, I've done things like live streams where you attach a foam bracket onto it. And I've, I've <laughs> during the pandemic, I did a bit of pad thai cooking, pad thai guy on Facebook, if you're interested. No longer cook though, I perfected it. <laughs> um, but this was great, put a foam bracket on here, literally was hanging this just on kitchen cabinets with the phone dangling off it. And it, like I say, it's rubber, so it's quite grippy. It's, I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it's like, it's, it's grippy all the way over, whereas the Joby has the rubber rings around it, so there's like smooth bits as well as, as rubberized bits. This thing is completely covered in rubber, plenty of grip. This is reasonably priced, put a link to it in the description. I definitely recommend if you've been looking for a little flexible tripod such as this, and you've been looking at the Jobies and they're a little bit pricey because by the time you get one that's got a ball head on it, uh, it starts getting more expensive. You're looking at 50 quid plus. This thing is like 20, 25 pounds at the time of recording. So affordable, flexible and it's it's not lost any of its flex so far for me as well and I, I do use this a fair bit as well so so yeah if you are interested links in the description hopefully that was helpful guys if you're interested in videos like this or anything else uh any camera gear or anything like that leave a comment in the comments and i'll see what you guys are asking for and i'll do a video on it i do have cameras and lenses and things like that um but yeah if you're interested let me know if this video is helpful give the like button a tap or a smash however you like to touch that button uh but until next time guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you all later cheers <laughs>